All right, U.S. Army Engineering School, Engineer constru Engineering Construction Equipment Steering Systems. Uh, fundamentals of the clutch and brake steering system. Before you can repair a clutch brake steering system, you must be able to identify the components, understand how they work, brake operation steering system. has two contracting band brakes independent of one another. Um, figure one, supplement the action steering with the clutch to stop track with the brake lock of the pause, holding one both brakes lock position, single hand lever to activate. These balls with the two brakes operate the same way. All right, brake one shows uh, parking lever with the braking brake, lever with the brake shaft, the brake control lever with the braking brake linkage, the brake hatch lock paw, the brake pedal, the brake link, the brake lever with the similar brake left shaft, the brake lever shaft, ratchet brake it, strut, strut support lever with the similar brake handle, strut, strut brakes um, toggle link link and brake band. With the brake pedal, the depress with the brake control, level with the boom with the brake control, level with the forward, the brake shaft, the brake level, the rotates pull with the brake link, the flat end for the brake toggle link, the causing the brake shut support the level, the same with the rotate with the brake level, the shaft, the brake band, strut the force against the lugs and brake band, causing the contracting of the string, steering clutch, or over the drum, the brake pedal to relieve the spring, return with the brake pedal, linkage in the brake band with it to the normal position. The string brake that also can um, acts with the braking brakes as engaged, pressing either on both brake pedals before pushing brake pedal lever down. This move the braking pa pa brake linkage forward and Engaging the paw with the, with the ratchet, the brake lock paw holds the brake in position. Car the brake pedals down um, before the paw, um, pulling of the brake lever when up, uh, up when relief of the brake that prevents damage with the teeth of the damage to the ratchet teeth or paw. Steering clutch com um, components. To fully understand the components of the steering clutches, you must understand the final describe and drive the pickup of the clutches attached with the final drive of the main component, main component of the steering clutch arc with the bevel gear for the bevel gear shaft, the steering the clutch, inner drum of the disc assembly, the sealed disc figure two, the commo main component of the final drive of the steering clutch, outer drum of the brake drum of the final drive, and the pinion with the other pinion. And then in the final dri final driver gear and the sprocket shaft and sprocket figure three steering clutch location lubrication bevel gear steering clutch is located with the bevel gear steering clutch is cased with the bevel gear cased with the reservoir with the transmission steering hydraulic system bevel gear turns throughout the lubricating on the bevel of the gear with the bevel pin steering clutch the steering clutch and control level that lubricates the bearing of the bevel gear shaft steering clutch operation when the clear steering clutch figure two is engaged with the inner outer spring of the force with the pressure of the place to seal distance disc assembly against the inner drum supplying the power through the disc of the upper drum of the steering clutch is normally engaged or in steering clutch release. Pressure oil from the hydraulic control of the steering clutch move the piston toward the outside of the machine. The piston pushes with the spring retainer with the pressure for the inner and outer spring. At the same time, the spring retainer pushes with the pressure plate toward the outside of the machine. Now the pressure plate with the non contact with the sealed disc with the disc assembly because of the sealed disc and disc assembly are not hold together. Power cannot be go through the inner drum into the outer drum. Power transfer. The steering um, clutch gets engaged in figure 2 and 3 with the power flow for the bevel gear through the bevel gear shaft of the inner drum. The inner drum turns the sealed disc through the turn disc. Of the assembly, the disassembly, turn out the drum for the worst of the final drew pinion with the final drew drive pinion, turn for the other gear with the turn for the final drew drive gear with the this gear. Turns the sprocket with the turns the track of the steering clutch is down and gave the connection with the bevel gear and the final drive. The pinion is broken, the power cannot be go through the final drew drive to the track. Figure two is the steering clutch. But one is the bevel gear. Two of the be be bearing cage. Um, bearing cage. Three of the disc assembly. Four of the pressure plate. Five of the outer springs. Six of the inner springs. Seven of the pistons. Eight of the hub. It's nine. The steering clutch inner drum. Ten of the sealed disc. Figure three. Um, final drive. The steering clutch. One outer steering clutch outer drum. One two the hub. The final drive drive piston. Three the four idler piston. Five the um, duo cone seal. Six of the sprocket. Seven the duo cone seal. Eight the sprocket shaft. Nine final drive gears. Put ten support. But eleven bear, bear, bearing cage. Learning event two: um, a clutch and brake steering system. The learning event with the present five job situation required the troubleshooting with the clutch of the brake system, the steering system. In each situation, you, you are a Sergeant E5 at the time with the 91 um, General Support Manual for the company Fort Wilson, Kansas. Your senior construction and equipment repair of the C62B20 engineer with equipment repair section. The equipment is modeled with the D7E Caterpillar tractor. You also use the Department of Army Form 2407 the maintenance request the maintenance allocation chart with the troubleshooting gap with the technical manual TM5241023414 PN1. Note of uh, note safety is always your prime concern. Situation 1 Supervisor tasked with the verified report of the malfunction D7E with the Identify the probable cause of the DH-2407 the figure 4. Troubleshooting guide to TM5241023414 P and P and 1. Table 1. Solution. Review the DF Form 2407. See with the section 16. Save the tractor. Slow turn with the right to the left. 
If the view of the problem determine the happening of the tractor, check with the both the right and left steering clutch and found that the tractor turns slowly to the left and even slower with the right. So if the malfunction is correctly um, stated on the DA form 2407 for the troubleshooting guide, table 1, eliminate the malfunction. Do not apply. You see either there are five probable causes of the slow steering. Next, inform the supervisor your findings. Control link with the steering clutch of the brake line with adjustment not correct. And brake link to have where to damage low oil pressure the steering clutch control valve spline. On the steering clutch, observe damage with the leaking of the steering clutch control valve. The AA4 2407, um, troubleshooting uh, for steering. Supervisor, give the you a go ahead with the troubleshooting problem to determine the actual go with the start with the easiest way. From the check with the first check with the leak with the steering control clutch control valve, figure five cents once with the visual inspection is required. Solution one, check with the valve with the leak for the oil supply with the lines wherever the seal and the gasket is. Oh, you also control the valve and the housing with the crack of the brakes, but you find no visible leaks, so you eliminate the steering control valve that is a probable cause. Figure five, see for the steering control valve, one is control valve, two, the check valve, three is the bolt, four is the elbow, five is the supply tube, and then six to the elbow. The situation is you, ne you next check with the control link of the steering clutch for the incorrect brake adjustment, uh, incorrect adjustment, break the operation, break the operation into three part steps. Check the steering brake pedal with the free of the movement, check the clutch brake adjustment, check the steering clutch linkage adjustment solutions, three. Step one, performing the simplest task fish, check the steering brake pedal for the free movement, the fuse figure six with the table two, but if you find the brake pedal with the free travel is correct. Figure six, um, Steering brake language of the bark. One is the parking brake uh, lever. Two is the brake pedal. With the three is the braking link. The four is the braking pra braking parking brake linkage. All right, brake pedal adjustment specifications. Check the steering clutches, brakes adjustments. See figure seven. Use the following procedure to adjust. Remove the brake adjuster screw cover. The take of the correct note uh, not to the damage to the gasket. Use the torque wrench. Turn the adjusting screw wheel clockwise until you have the ply with the torque of 15 foot pounds. Um, um, turning the adjusting screw on the counterclockwise one and a half terms to provide the property clearance between the brake line with the brake line with the brake drum. You find the steering clutch for brake adjustment is correct. The steering clearing clutch bearing, braking adjustment screw. The one is the steering clutch brake adjusting screw. Step three: Check the adjustment of the steering clutch um, linkage of the following procedure for the operators. May remove the pins for the linkage lever for the loosen the lock nut with the control rod. And be sure that the steering clutch is controlled up with the forward full position. Move the control rod forward with the take of the clearance for the linkage. After removing the clearance, you will spring resistant. Don't move the rod with the forward enough to compress with the extent with the steering clutch hydraulic adjust the rod at the end of the control rod so that you can easily install the pin with the rod end of the linkage lever. So the rod and turn the rod end one half of the turn clockwise to shorten the reach of the rod. And install the pins loosen the top bolt lock nut. Pull the steering clutch lever over the reach of the rear as far as the go and hand hold to turn the stop of the bolt when the clock clockwise until the clearance between the stop of the bolt and the bumper mount with the angle with this is the point with the hydraulic control prevents the further move of the control lever over the lever in position until the complete with the next procedure. Turn the stop bolt out with the counterclockwise until the contact of the angle, then turn an additional one half through and release the control and lever lock and stop the bolt with the lock nut. Solution three, when you find the clutch and the brake linkage adjustment incorrectly, you can eliminate the clutch and brake adjustment as a probable cause. Step if you're eight. Um, figure eight stop, steering clutch link with its stop bolt, the stop bolt lock nut, the bumper um, mounted angle, four the pin, five the link, link lever, six the rod, um, control rod in, seven lock nut, and eight control rods. Situation four, I have eliminated two of the five probable causes of the slow steering. One of the remains that does not require the removal of this low steering clutch assembly. You check an extra with the low pressure for the steering clutch control valve. You refer to figure nine to determine the flow of the oil going through the right and left of the steering clutches. You should find that the item A with the left steering clutch of the item F with the right steering clutch will determine the required pressure for the steering clutch position piston table three to open the determine the control correct pressure for the steering clutch piston will identify whether you should conduct the pressure test figure ten whether you may start with the engine right or left steering clutch oil the system must be able to operate with the temperature. If the engine is running with the oil to reach for the oil operating temperature, but they shut off the engine, remove the oil pressure tab, get plug and from the steering clutch and then solve the multi-range pressure gave the figure 11 the next restart the engine to build um, pressure within the system be sure that the pressure reading it is within the limits stated in the table 3 once you have completed with the first tab to shut off the engine remove the pressure gauge and install the oil pressure tap plug and check the oil pressure on the both steering clutches Table three steering clutch um, control close control locations pressure location and value steering clutch piston steering clutches disengage the engine low idle A and F location to A through F A location 250 280 psi hydraulic oil pump engine at the high idle J 310 330 psi hydraulic point um, pump steering clutches the disengage engine low idle J, uh, location J 255 psi minimum. Solution four: Find you find the pressure is going through the both the steering clutches and it is within the required limits. You can eliminate the oil pressure as a probable cause. 
figure nine um, hydraulic fluid um, flow diagram. Um, hydraulic components le um, left steering clutch, oil filter, oil cooler, magnet strainer, five steering clutch, hydraulic controller, six converter, inlet relief valve, seven torque converter, the relief valve, nine transmission case, nine, tra uh, eight transmission case, nine transmission pressure control valve, ten con torque converter, eleven right steering clutch piston, twelve magnetic strain strainer, and thirteen scavenging cir circulating pump, fourteen oil pump. Test taps left A left steering clutch oil pressure tap B speed um, clutch pressure tap C transmission oil pump pressure tap ten D um, torque converter inlet relief valve pressure tap E torque converter oil left relief valve pressure tap nine right F right steering clutch oil pressure tap G dis directional clutch high to low pressure tap H um, check valve dump the um, P tap um, I transmission lubricating oil pressure tap and J oil pressure tap. Oil pump pressure tap. Figure 10. Steering clutch um, control level. Left steering clutch oil pressure tap. 1, 2, slot, um, steering clutch hydraulic control valve. 3, right steering clutch oil pressure tap. Figure 11. Multi range mesh pressure range, gauge. Um, multiple, 1, multiple pressure gauge ranging. 2, vacuum gauge. 3, pressure gauge. 50 psi pressure, um, pressure gauge. 6, um, 100 uh, full psi. Situation 5. To possible cover the steering with a failure remains the brake lines have the wear of the damage splints over the steering clutch hubs or have the damage of these operations require removal of the steering clutches. Determine if you repair with the general support level authorized to perform these checks with referring to Table 4. Table 4, maintenance allocation chart. Selection F. Or sorry, solution five is you determine the general support for the maintenance responsible for um, steering the brake for the clutch to provide the supervisor so that you've made external checks, found no minor problems, and determine the brakes need to be replaced. Learning event three. Learning event three, replace the steering brake with the learning event of the presence that each of the job the situation requires to replace the steering brake. Situation one, if you form if you inform the supervisor that must provide probable cover the tractor steering slowly in the both direction with the worn brake band with learning event two, the supervisor said that because of the shortage of the shop personnel, you will have to replace the brake band. Solution one, before they disassemble the tractor, contact her with the supply personnel to be sure that the new brake bands are on hand. Since you must move the clutch assembly and install the brake band, check with the see if the clutch parts are also on hand. If you remove the clutch assembly, find out faulty with the clutch mechanism, you can replace those damaged parts too. Situation two, before removing the steering clutch assembly, you must remove the tractor fuel um tractor fuel tank of the brake actually remove the fuel tank, start the repair job first, remove the fuel tank, refer to figure 12 with completing the following steps. Fuel tank removal, figure 12. Step 1, remove the rear guard, shut off the fuel supply, figure 13, disconnect the fuel supply line, fuel drain is line uh, at the tank. Figure 13, fuel shut off valve, the fuel drain, tank drain valve with the fuel line valve. 2. Step 3, remove the seat, figure 14, figure 14, seat removal, adjust the column, remove the, um, the buck um, block, the non-adjustment rod, release rod and out, lift the, the block and the seat up the forward and remove the seat. Step 4, remove the seat frame, figure 15 and 16, and as follows, remove the left arm rest, remove the winch, winch control level of the bracket, the disconnect with the brake lock, linkage, disconnect the transmission link of the seat frame, and remove the winch control level of the brake of the 1, 2 left arm rest, the 3 seat, 4 brake arm rod connection. Linkage. Disconnect the electrical cable to figure 3 of the figure 16 with the disconnect the electrical cable to figure 4 of 16 with the battery. Push the, put the, the electrical cable through the seat frame with the opening of the seat frame with the disconnect the rod at linkage assembly. Remove the mounting bolts. Turn the linkage assembly so you can move the seat frame to the left. Use the hoist to lift out the seat frame. Step 5. Remove the grab irons and the light. Step 6. Remove the guard. Step 7. Wire, pull the wiring back into the conduity. Step 8. Loosen the clip of the move of the conduity aside of the step 9. Move the wire for the clip the mount with the front left or lower left corner of the fuel tank. Step 10. And remove the bolts and mounting bolts. Step 11, and install the two eye bolts for the left of the light brackets. Step 12, the attach the hoist for the eye lift, uh, eye bolts, lift the fuel tank up and to the left. Step 13, fuel the tank out, well, place the fuel tank out of the way in the work area. Figure 16, battery cable to remove the one on the transmission leg of the two, the transmission leg of the three, the electrical cable to the four, the electrical cable to the five, the rod, six, um, mounting link bolts, and the seven linkage assembly. Move the brake actuating mechanism. Move the fuel tank. Continue with the procedure. Remove the brake band with the rear figure of 17 while completing the following steps. Step one, remove the support bar. Step two, remove the bolts and cover the step three. Just connect the brake route. Attention for the brake control level. Step three, remove four. Remove the pin with the cover pin with the trigger of the brake link with the brake level. Step five, remove the brake level with the return springs. Step six, remove the bolts and steering clutch cover. 
It's figure 17, brake engagement mechanism removal. The um, rear support with the upper bolts, brake control of the lever, the chain control of the cover, and pin, pin cut or pin of the brake level, the spring and the bolt, nine bolts. And then step seven, loosen the socket, plus some of the remove the tension of the brake band, figure 18. Step eight, remove the bolts and hold the brake with the actuating mechanism for the bevel of the great air case. Step nine, you the hoist, remove the brake of the actuating mechanism to note the brake actuating weight for the 100 pounds. Solution two, reach the steering clutches. You remove the fuel tank of the brake actuating mechanism. Figure 18, show the brake actuating mechanism remove the bolt and one two the socket socket assembly the three the back brake actuating mechanism situation three you must not raise the tractor remove the steering clutch before the remove this brake and steering the brake band raise the tractor before you can remove the steering clutch you can raise the remove raise the tractor proceed as follows step one rotate the tractor to locate the bottom of the attaching steering clutch to the steering clutch drive hub and the driving drum flange Cost and jack up the tractor and crib it using the 20 ton floor jack. Step, the, step two, start with the rear of the tractor, play with the jack under the draw bar with the brake for the jack on the rear track with the just clear of the server. The step three, the open the, once the track clear of the server, the crib up the rear of the tractor, lower the jack, so it four, move the jack of the front of the tractor, play for the under the toe of the front hook with the front of the belly pan. Step five, play for the cribbing the between the jack and the toe hook, but then you will not be able to raise the front of the tractor right, high enough to retract to clear the server. The step six, raise the slow, jack slowly, making sure the crib does not slip. Warning, if the lifting operation misalignment, maybe let, let, let the crib slipping safely must be your first concern. Step 7, um, raise the front of the tractor until the track just clear of the server. Step 8, place the cribbing under the tractor and then lower the jack. Remove the steering clutch. Now that you have to raise the tractor, remove the clutch. Remove the step 1, remove the mani's bolt that you can reach easily. You should be able to remove the approximately 5 bolts before rotating the clutch. Um, step two, play for the track under the grocer's track of the tray of the track and the rotate the track, and, uh, rotate the track the ro with the rotate with the clutch assembly, remove the remaining bolts. Step three, remove all the bolts to the two remaining bolts, remove the two remaining bolts will secure the clutch assembly to the inner drum until you can attach the hoist to raise the assembly. Figure 19, show the bolt, steering um, clutch, remove the bolt and the bolt. Step four, play for the two, um, Point thirty eight inch of the diameter arrive with a six inch long hole with the, the hole for the brake band figure twenty attached to the hoist for the rod with the brake band and apply with the pressure to keep the clutch assembly from falling. Step six from the two remaining bolts, step seven the prior outer drum with the drop flange, step eight the place ride the drum away from the hub, step nine weave the hoist and lift the remove the steering clutch assembly. Caution keep the steering assembly level before the clutch is free with the slide up with the outer drum run a strap the rope through the clutch secure the ends of the clutch to the from the falling. Step ten lay down the clutch assembly to grip the pressure of the plate and slide up with the step ten step eleven the Remove the hoist and pin with the brake band. Step 12, the brake and the slide of the brake band. Straight up with the, over the drum. Step 13, inspect the brake band for the wear and the worn, bad band is worn within 1 16th of an inch of the rivets. We must be replaced with the after solution. The solution 3, after removing the steering clutch of the assembly, inspect the brake band. You'll find the brake band has worn one, um, um, of the rivet, one thirty two of the end, uh, rivets, if you must give the new brake band with the, the assembly to the clutch. Figure 20, steering clutch assembly removal. Situation 4, inspect the clutch assembly to see if the aim of the clutch parts are damaged and must cut the effect to make the inspection no, the great, um, not then the go through the then assembly, complete the assembly later. Place the clutch assembly on the bolts with the pressure plate inside of the figure 21, allow the least 5 inch for the clearance below assembly. Step 1, lift the, the outer drum of the clutch assembly. Step 2, compress the clutch springs and remove the bolts. Warning, the pressure of the spring pushes it against the pressure plate with a good hurt. Someone who damages the clutch assembly compressed with the clutch springs before the removing the bolts of the holding the pressure plate with the clutch assembly. Use one of the following methods, similar method with your own, to safely remove the bolts with the pressure plate. Place the clutch assembly the arbor press with the pressure and um, pre apply with the pressure. Remove the bolts slowly, release the pressure. Use two clamp, C clamp with the four small block with the woods to protect the outer drum of the pressure plate with the place of the wood, block with the wood at the top of them when the bottom of the clutch assembly tighten the C clamp around the block of the wood. Complete the process 180 degrees for the first of the C clamp, remove the bolt slowly, loosen the pressure with equally turns on the two C clamps. Figure 21, outer drum, the removal of the brake band and steering clutch, outer drum. Thrip 3, remove the pressure plate, figure 22. Figure 22, pressure plate location. Step 1, steering clutch, clutch pressure plate, and the two, the play of plate. Step 4, remove the clutch to disc assembly, the clutch driving the disc with the inner drum, the figure 23, with the number of the top of the disc assembly, driving the disc, and then remove them will become the important thing, and you install the disc. Step 5, inspect the clutch disc, warping the roughness, successful where you with the micrometer, measure the thickness of the disc, table the 5, to give it the minimum, maximum, overall width of thickness of the disc. disc. Um, step six, remove the clutch spring with the clutch spring, leave the inspect with the broken spring, then excessive wear with the retainers. 
Solution for it, you remove the outer drum from the clutch assembly, take out the pressure plate with the clutch disc and the clutch springs, inspect the clutch springs disc and to ensure that all parts are serviceable. Figure um, 23, shove the clutch assembly cross section, clutches, one clutch, clutch disc assembly, two clutch springs sleeve, two, three clutch springs, four clutch deriving discs, five steering clutch inner drum, six clutch spring, seven um, steering spring retainer. Replacement standards. Situation 5. Now the reassemble all the parts. Start by putting the steering clutch back together. Step 1. Insert the 3, 5, 8 of an inch number 11. The forcing screw of the bolt flange out over the drum until the touch of the spline with figure 24 that prevents the first clutch disc assembly from dropping below the end of the spline with the outer drum. Step 2. Place the outer drum of the blocks as shown in figure 24. With the figure 24 clutch with the steer, 1 steering clutch over the outer drum. The 2. The forcing the screws. 3. Install the 2, 5, 8 of an inch guide pin with the clutch ring retain with the figure 25. Insert the 3 the plate with the place of the retain with the plate with the over the bolt. Place the assembly into the the outer drum block with the two inch lower than the outer drum figure 25. Step five, four, insert for the clutch spring with the sleeve within the smaller clutch spring. Then place the small spring sleeve within the large clutch spring. Step five, place the clutch springs and sleeve that over the bosses of the clutch spring retainer. Figure 25, so the spring and sleeve the assembly. One, the string um, sh steering clutch outer drum. Three, two, the guide pan for the four. Three, the large clutch. Four, the, four, the small clutch spring. Five, the clutch spring sleeve. Six, the clutch spring retainer. Step six, place the inner drum of the guide pins over the spring sleeve of assembly. Figure 26. Figure 26, show the um, steering of the clutch inner drum. Step seven. Now install the clutch disc. Note the number of the clutch disc. The mark on the top is removed. Over the step four with the situation four. Replace the disc at the top of the face valve with the bear with the wear distribution. Install the clutch disc. Last, remove the first install. Set, stick, stack the disc um, in the reverse order, placing the top of the one over the bottom until all the discs are installed. Start the clutch with the disc assembly. Figure 27. Follow the clutch driving disc. Alternate from one on the other. All discs are installed. Figure 27. Show over the clutch disc insulation. Um, step eight. The place of the pressure plate over the clutch of the disc shown over the figure 28. The toe guide with the pin aligned with the hole of the plate with the tap hole with the retainer. Step 9 install as many with the retaining both lock as possible to serve the guide with the spring and sleeve of the assembly. Step 10 compare with the spring with the same tool arrangement that you have to assemble with the clutch assembly. Tighten the retaining bolt. Step 11 remove the compressor tool with the guide pin and install the remaining bolts. Torque all bolts 600 to 800 foot pounds behind the metal locks. Figure 28 steering clutch spring installation. One guide pin, two steering clutch pressure plate, three the bolts. Step 12 use a suitable lifting lock to remove the steering clutch assembly from the outer drum. The figure 29 invert the outer drum with the move the forcing screw with the plate for the outer drum with the steering clutch assembly. Step 13 install the brake band on the outer drum shown in figure 29. Solution 5 you've assembled the, the steering clutch assembly. Ensure that any, each part was properly installed. After assembling the steering clutch, um, remove all the bolts and guides and install the brake band with the outer drum. Figure 29 shows the steering clutch assembly removal. One steering clutch assembly, two steering clutch or outer drum, and the three forcing screws. Situation 6. Now it's time to play for the clutch. You have the first order for the removal of the procedure. Step 1. Play for the point thirty-eight image for diamond or rod extends along with the hole of the brake band. Step 2. Is, uh, attach the hoist of the rod for the brake band. Step 3. Lifting of the sphere with the clutch for the position shown in figure 28 with the caution to the end clutch assembly. Lifting with the lifting with the clutch of the free with that clutch. So, uh, could slide out with the outer drum the use of the trap to screw the clutch before removing the strap before moving the clutch with the flame. Four steps. Four. Filing the procedure with the flame with the pinion shaft of the steering clutch for the outer drum to draw together without binding. It's all one bolt secured with the outer drum with the flange. Do not tighten the bolt too lightly. Play the jack under the track of the raise of the track. Rotate with the track of the 180 degrees. Install the second bolt with the screw of the outer drum with the two flanges. Tighten the bolt securely. Step 5. Install the remaining bolts for rotating the clutch shaft. The necessary step 6. After installing all the bolts, use the torque of the wrench and torque all the bolts to 180 to 120 foot pounds of torque. Solution 6. Um, you've lifted the clutch assembly into the position without letting another clutch assembly fall out of the outer drum and install all the bolts to torque into the 180 to 220 foot pounds of torque. Now, figure 30 shows the braking engagement mechanism. The strut into the log. Um, Step 7. The um, next step is to install the brake actuating mechanism for the brake receiver of the valve lift the brake actuating mechanism with the position. Sure, the brake band starts to uh, engage with the lugs of the brake band with the install of the brake actuating mechanism. Figure 30. Step 3. Install the bolt holding the brake actuating me mechanism in the bevel gear case. Step 4. Install the steering clutch for the figure 31. Install the steering clutch over the cover of the bolt of the torque of these bolts with 100 plus or minus 5 foot pounds of torque. Step six and slope is all the spring. Step seven, you've the pin, cotter pin, the screw of the brake link with the brake lever. Step six, um, step eight, with the connect of the brake rod to the brake control lever. Step nine, install the cover in the bolt. Step ten, install the rear support. Step solution seven, then you install the brake actuating mechanism within the brake shuts to engage the lug on the brake band. Any linkage with was connected properly. All springs are attached and secure with note. Repeat the removal of the insulation procedure with the bolt clutches. Figure thirty one, brake engagement mechanism insulation. One repair, repair rear support cover bolt, brake control lever, the steering clutch cover, and six pin cotter pin seven. Break lever the set nine eight the spring and nine the bolts. 
Our situation eight. Now that they install the fuel tank seat of the frame, the three, they use the first order of the removal of the procedure. Step one with the test of the hoist two eye bolts. When you install the lifting of the mounting bracket, step two lift the fuel tank of the position. Move the fuel tank slightly toward the, to the left, the lower, bring the back of the, the proper position. Step three install the mounting bolt. Figure eight, figure thirty two with the bolts. Four, they figure thirty two with install the wires and clip mount with the front lower left corner of the fuel tank. Step five with the move of the conductivity pad uh, back under the clip of the tightening with the clip of the mounting. Um, pulling the wire back through the conductivity to the left leg bracket. Step Six, then install the guard, making the trip of the ground wires under the bolt. Um, step seven, then install the grab iron. Step eight, then remove the eye bolts, placed in the light brackets um, for the lifting, and install the lights from the connecting the light wires into the lights. Figure five, figure 32. Figure 32, fuel tank insulation, lights two, uh, lights one, two grab iron, three clips, four bolts, five conduity, six bolt, seven guard, and eight bolts. Step nine, install the seat frame. The figure 33, you've the hoist of the seat, and lift the seat with the move of the seat with the left of the, and then position, install the mounting bolts, reposition the linkage assembly with the naked rod. The linkage return the electrical cable through the seat of the frame, opening the battery of the box. Think of the cable, the batteries tighten them, and then connect the electrical cable to connect the transmission link. Figure 33, show the seat frame insulation. Transmission linkage is one, two, and three, three electrical cable, three and four, five rod, six mounting bolts, seven linkage assembly. Connect the brake locking linkage, figure 14, install the wrench, uh, winch control level of the bracket, install the left arm rest, and install the seat. Step 10, uh, connect the fuel supply line, drain the line to the fuel tank. Step 11, turn the fuel shut off out of the tank. Solution 8, you've installed the fuel tank, set frame with the seat. Also, check out all the fuel lines for the tight and electrical cable to check the linkage of the proper insulation adjustment. Now, you jack up the trailer, remove now you jack up the trailer, remove all the cribbing, and return the storage area of the way from the from the work you've replaced with the steering brakes. Be sure to um, do adjust the brake band to compensate for the additional lining. Also, test the operator of the tractor to ensure the seat properly. Figure 31, 34 of so seat frame and insulation winch control level of the bracket, two the left arm rest, three the seat, and four the brake and lock linkage. Lesson two power steering system.